I'll try to locate Miss Crouchy. She's expecting you. Patrick Dennis, the author. How many of you are doing for our autobiography? Oh, yes. She asked me to phone just as soon as you arrived. Chapel, please? Chapel? She has her own chapel. Oh, good morning, Padre. Would you kindly inform Miss Crouchy that Mr. Dennis is waiting here in the office room? This room? Thank you, Padre. Oh, and bless you, too. She'll be here directly. Her own chapel. Bell in front of their wedding day. That was Mr. Crouchy. Well, she was remarried again, wasn't she? To the entire table. An extraordinary Excuse me. <laughs> My favorite person in the whole wide world! Jiffy! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, madam, she's French. How do I look, baby? 
you. Like a bright red angel. Oh, Mama, when I grow up, I want to be a nurse just like you. Oh, I'm not really a nurse, sugar. I just like to make people uh, feel good. Now, don't forget to take out the garbage. All right, Mama, will you be home early? No, we've got two new girls today, and i got to stay away and take inventory. <laughs> Hiya, Belle. Oh, hello, George. What have you done there? Because I got a fur kiss. I can't, George. I've got to throw out the garbage. And George Musgrove, put those cards away. You should try to lead a clean, decent life and like focus upon the bluff. The bluff is all you ever talk about, though. You know that if you stick your head up too high, all you get is disappointment on public options. <laughs> Oh, my. 
take this opportunity to thank you for this wonderful party. I just realized, today I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child anymore. I'm a full-grown, mature man, ready to take his place. Suddenly, I have hopes and desires. Suddenly a man, at last a man. <laughs> I too recognize the importance of this day, Noah. And that's why on this occasion I'd like to give you these. Oh gosh, Mother, that's swell! A set of matching trust funds. <laughs> oh, Bridget, could you kindly place these in my box? Yes, sir. And there's a strange young lady in here from Drifter's Row. That must be Belle. Show her. Drifter's Row? Noble, have you gone mad? I, I don't understand. No, well, you can't afford to be seen with that kind. You're in Eggleston. Our family goes back nearly 400 years to the earliest rich people. <laughs> <laughs> Our good name can only be perpetuated if blue blood marries blue blood. No other color will do, no. It must be a deep navy blue. Mom. Uh, Mom. 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 Doing 
about. Looking for wealth, culture, and social position. You're making a big mistake, Del. One of these days, you're going to get kicked right in the heart. Remember, if you ever need me, all you got to do is snap your fingers and George Musgrove will be there. I'll remember, George. So long, Del. I'm going to Chicago now to grow up. <laughs> I will get there someday. I will. <laughs> Now I want to kill you, 
jumping and skipping and jumping, and it's all thanks to you.
sweetest thing I have ever known. I love her, and a person as good as I am could never love her less. Thank you. You may have saved your life. It's been my pleasure. Direct from her triumphant two-week trial, Miss Dimple Swampert and her chain gang.
I think about you all the time now. Every minute of every waking day, my thoughts are only of you. Oh, yeah, this is my fiance, Ramona Vanderbilt. Your fiance? My mother picked her out. But you promised. My mother. You said you. My mother. Oh, Noble. Belle, wait. Noble! Noble! I tried to fight it with every ounce of blue blood in my veins, but it's no use. I love you, and there isn't anything you can say or do to change it. We're going home, Noble! I'll get the notes. Hold on, he got over it. 
and today he is a famous person in France. As I'm sure you've already guessed, I am telling you a story about myself. <laughs> but now we have Colette, and I have a little. When did you meet Colette? I just told you, when I took a fancy French boy in the village. <laughs> Do you really think I'll get over it too, maybe? Of course you will. When it comes to love, always listen to it, right? Second show, Val. Yes, keep an eye on this one. She's the cry one. Is there anything you need? No, not right now. Remember what I once told you, Val. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is... Snap your fingers. George, George, Mosco. Gosh, you really did grow up since Fingers broke. What are you doing here? I own this club, baby. Your club? That's right, and I got a cozy little apartment downstairs. Because I want someone to come home to. 
Hey, because you kind of remind me of my mom. <laughs> yeah, she's fat too. <laughs> Hey everyone, I just woke up a preacher. He says because of the war, we can make a special allowance and marry us all right here and now. November 12th, 
Allied flying ace, Colonel Noble Edison, 9 time winner of the Victoria Cross, was shot down over enemy lines. Colonel Edison has, to his credit, 27 enemy planes destroyed in the air, 13 on the ground, and 6 in the factory. Mama, is he alive? <laughs> Colonel Edison is believed to be alive, but until further notice, he will be listed as missing in action. There will be a two minute silent prayer today at the Harvard Yale Game. <laughs> He's alive! I know and no one's alive! He must be! Mama, take me! Where are you going? To France. To finish the job that men like Fred and Noble started. My personal goals must wait now. Our boys need cheering up, and I'm going to do it with my god giving talent. That's my little girl! <laughs> I won't be back until I found Noble. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, baby. Hello!
I have some news about Colonel Eggleston. No, talk is he alive? Very much so. He escaped from, from an enemy prison camp, captured an enemy plane, captured Field Marshal Marshal Werner Schlechter, flew back to France, and took important aerial photographs along the way. That's <laughs> noble. Never too busy to help his country. Where is he now? He's in his plane most of the time. He only comes out for fuel and mail. <laughs> Frenchman, pity. Don't seem to be able to help the poor chap. What is it, General? A French officer. Amnesia. Total loss of memory. No one seems to be able to get through to him. We found him wandering around in no man's land whining. What side am I on? What side am I on? <laughs> he also has a letter. He keeps reading it and crying. Perhaps there's something I can do. Can I try, General? Can't see what Harbor would do. Nurse! <laughs> I named my plane after you. 
It's called the Flying Vista. Everybody move up. I understand that, Kim. Bell, look, we don't have much time. I want to ask you one question. Will you marry me tonight? Marry you? But I haven't got wealth, culture, or social position. Well, in these ravaged days, we're all equal. If we wait until after the war, I'll just be better than you. <laughs> yes, darling, of course, of course. I'll get an overnight pass. But no, but what will your mother say? My mother? When you get home, just tell her we got married. No, you better tell her I got married. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Miss Poitry. We're all ready to move out, sir. Good. Start that troop out immediately. Yes, sir. Get all the boys in their trucks and get all the girls in my car, if you know what I'm saying. God bless you, sir. Ready, Belle? Belle, I have wonderful news. I'm going to Paris to marry Noble. Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> I'm afraid he slipped back into it again. But why? I believe it was because Duval thinks you jilted him. Justice Valenti. Of course, if you had stayed with him, this wouldn't have happened, but of course, that's not your problem anymore. I've never seen you before in my life, crazy Frenchman. <laughs> Excuse me, General. Ready, Bill? No, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've changed my mind. What do you mean? I mean, I can't marry you. But, Bill, you've got to. I just put a deposit down on a hotel room. Don't you understand what I'm trying to say, Noble? I, I don't love you anymore. No. No, Belle, I don't believe you. You don't stop loving a person like me. Just like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Noble. Please go away. Very well. Goodbye, Belle.
judge <laughs> and a husband and a father. Oh, that's nice. What have you got? A boy and a wife. Who did you marry? You remember Ramona, the girl with wealth, culture, and social position. They're very happy. They? She and my mom. Funny how everything turned out, isn't it? I mean, after promising to wait for each other. We were so young. Two silly kids. Two childish children. A childhood romance. It's really very funny, isn't it? A scream. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed? 
joy and the goodness of your heart. This is your first defeat! <laughs> you have never been defeated before. What are you laughing at? <laughs>
do, but all the tables are closed tonight because of the game. Game? What game? Have you not heard about the biggest game Monte Carlo has ever seen? One spin of the wheel, just one, between the bank and his royal highness, Prince Charity of Rosenzweig. His royal highness, Prince Charity of Rosenzweig. Your <coughs> majesty, I beg of you, forget this madness. To gamble everything, it's too dangerous. Oh, I have no choice. My people are starving. If they don't allow me to fill their plates, I must gamble. The danger, your highness, is to yourself. You know your condition. You've read Dr. Zoltan's report. It wouldn't take much. Listen, your leg. I have no choice. I must gamble. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the enormous mistakes and consequences of this game, we ask your indulgence in retaining complete and absolute silence. Merci beaucoup. The bet, your highness, is ready. His majesty is ready. What number would you like? Uh, this is so much to deal with. I'm betting my entire treasury. Two million gold plot kids. Are you all right? Are you all right? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> your majesty, what number would you like? The bet is all yours. Mother, mother. Mama, I've made up my mind. If nothing happens tonight, I'm going home. Mama, please. The prince must have silence. Prince? Did she say prince? No. And a dream. The American films. Oh, what dream? You the American film star. Your Highness. In my country, we have a saying. Ich lese eine Speicherkarte und du bist eine Speicherkarte. Which means, beautiful women, prince, good luck. Now please, if you don't mind, I will ask you to pick the number for me. Me? But I couldn't possibly do that. I could never take that responsibility. Why, if you lost, I would never be able to forgive myself. Madame, to refuse his majesty would be... Don't make... We must insist. I will make the bet myself. Thirty-six black is the number. Thirty-six black is the bet. I think you insulted him. Did I? Should have done it. Gotta bring him back. Do you really think so? Thirty-six black is the number, and the wheel. Make it nineteen red. And the winner, 36 black. <laughs>
it on. I'd love to put it on.
She's all we've got now. 